In this short video, we will take one small preliminary step. In order to test our work and to see the actual effects of our code we use, we will ask Allfusion to display some additional information about the request being processed. To do so, let's return to the Callfusion administrator. So here in Callfusion Builder, I will take the bottom panel, the CF servers panel, and I will select my Callfusion server in the panel. Here I will right click on my server to launch the Callfusion administrator and of course I need to log on to that administrator using the password that I have chosen during the installation of Callfusion Builder and the embedded Callfusion server. So let's click on login here. And once logged in, you see here on the side different categories. One of them is called debugging and logging. And inside of that category, there is a page called Debug Output Settings. So if I click here, you see on that page that one box is already selected. It's called Enable Robust Exception Information. And that allows the visitor to see some information in the exceptions page. So when an error occurs, when an error occurs, you can see the physical path of the template of the file where the error occurs, the line number and a bunch of other additional information. Of course, you want to deselect that box in a production environment. But here in our development environment, we will leave that one selected and we will select another one, which is this one, which is called Enable Request Debugging Output. And I will submit the changes here. You see the message, the server has been updated successfully. Now I can log out to the administrator, close that tab and I'm back to Callfusion Builder. Now to see the effects of that change, I will open any page of my site. Let's take that first page here, agenda.cfm, and I will run it in the browser. And here in the browser, you see that the page displays as usual. But if I scroll down the page, I can see some additional information about the request. Of special interest for us in this chapter is the execution time section, which displays a list of files that Coolfusion has processed to serve that request. You see here that Coolfusion has processed a single file, which is the agenda.cfm page, and it took Coolfusion 19 milliseconds, in my case, to process that file, plus one additional millisecond for some confusion stuff. You see some additional information about the SQL queries being performed. So here I have one query, which is the RS current events query. It returns seven records. And this is the SQL statement that has been sent to the database. Also here, a section with the scope variables. You see here the CGI scope. So this is as if I dumped the CGI scope on the page. I can access here in the debug output all the information contained in that CGI structure because you know that the scope is a structure. Some additional information here, another scope, which is the cookie variables. So you see that we already have a cookie that has been set up by Coalfusion and we will talk about that later in the course. So here we have some additional information. We have turned on the debug output and we can now move on to the next video where we will talk about the includes.